and welcome back guys. Today, let's take a look at the Zorus, the convenient glaive with a very novel gimmick. That combo duration, it's infinite. What does that mean? Well that means it never ever decays. It normally combo decays, but the Zorus it just doesn't. See, there's no bar. There's usually a bar that shows you how much time is left. Zorus? Nope. Just never ever decays. We're gonna hit 12, and it'll stay there. Look at that. Hmm. Hmm. That's beautiful. Just doesn't decay ever. Now, that's amazing. That should make this the best weapon in the game, hands down. But it's terrible. Like, truly terrible. Why? Well, I'll show you why. The answer is very simple. Extremely, extremely simple. But, attack speed looks good. Crit chance is actually the highest glaive I can think of. Don't believe me? Here's... Okay, second highest. But the crit multiplier is way higher on the Zorus. Which is why it's more crit. That's kind of what I meant. Status? Actually, status is really low for a Glaive. I mean, you've got things like the Falcor and the Serata, which just have off the charts like 30% statuses. So, but 18% totally works with Weeping Wounds. I mean... <laughs> Oops, if I could spell. Public education, right? There we go, weeping wounds. I'll just let you read that. For those of you that don't know, this is a great mod. It adds a total of 440% in status chance once you get to combo multiplier 12. That works just fine with 18%. The problem with the Zorus is what is this garbage number? I don't even care that it's slashy. What is this? 1 at 20? 120? Clave Prime is not known for having the highest base damage. But not only is it way slashier, it's just got more base damage. Almost an extra 50%. What, so what does compare? I think you've already seen it. The Scana. The Scana. The Scana has the same base damage as the Zorus. That's, dude, that's terrible. That's terrible. That's not, that's terrible. <laughs> I mean, here, look at this. This is a proper build. Max mods, we got all the mods. It, I don't even have to put Drifting Contact on. I can fit another 60-60 mod. This thing should be awesome. It's got an extra mod slot. But it sucks. Yeah, we ain't a Blade Storm involved. These guys are already softened up. They already have stasses applied. Ugh. That sucks. That really sucks. I mean, let, let's do it again on some fresh guys. Let's see. You know, we'll even pull them in. How about that? This is, you will never see this in game, this is the most maximum way to get DPS with the Glaive. Every single time I hit them, it's going to apply a status. Look at that, dozens of attacks. It'll do the job. But it's... 
It's lackluster. It takes too long. It takes way too long. Like, what? And then, this isn't how you use the Zorus. You don't use it for its combo. Use it as a thrown weapon. And yeah, this is some... This is some nonsense. I'm still kind of testing just because I'm desperate to make it good in any way. And really where you want to use this is inside the Granum Void against Spectres. Currently the Spectres are completely immune to status. And so Condition Overload is just here so it doesn't suck outside the Void. Yeah, yeah I know. I know it hurts me too, but Breach doesn't go on here. Elementals? I'm not sure Elementals do anything inside the Grand Void. So I slapped on some nasty base damage and got as much crit chance as I could. Because the whole th point I'm trying to do with this build is throw it. As you can see, the throne build up sucks, and it's staggering me too. Like, it really, really sucks. I mean, I'm getting some damage, but not nearly enough. Now, does this do amazing things in the Grand and Void? Yes. But the Zorus is just a confused and lost child. It's it uh, it uh, it has such an amazing gimmick, and it just doesn't cut it. Doesn't cut it at all. The Grand and Void. If the Spectres were not status immune, it would actually be a lot better. It's a really weird choice they made going that route, especially with all the status changes, but D is doing D things, so we're just gonna walk away from that. Will I be using the Zorus? Actually, yes, I'll be using it a lot because it is super convenient. It's not good, it's not great, but I mean, infinite combo. I can just, I never have to worry about building combo. I can go do what I'm trying to do. That stupid mobile defense where I'm running for 30 seconds. Or however long it is the next one. And they spawn the next portal a thousand meters away. I don't want to stop and build combo. I'm just gonna run right by him with the Zorus. And when I get there, I'll have my full 12x ready to go in Bladestorm. It's not ideal. But it's so convenient. So it does have a place. As for my other frames... Uh, mm, I really wish they'd made this a little bit better. Just a little bit better. Now... If they did make it any better, it would probably kill every other glaive. So I get where YD kind of held back. Glaives, they're just in a weird place. But I'm going to stop rambling on. I'll... Do you guys do what you do? If you want the Zorus, go ahead and just do the Protea quest. It drops freely. Thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you guys next time.